What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's, excuse me, let's tap in, collectives. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's the most important messages surrounding your energy today. So let's tap in. I love you guys so much. All right, so the first call out, we got meditation brings answers. All right, so there's, there's something that is requiring you to meditate, to get still. All right, to utilize your intuition. The answers that you are searching for is not going to come from outside of you. Okay? Yes. All right, there go the answer. All right, so it's looking like you guys meditated. All right, it's looking like it, whatever y'all was going through. All right, it, it required a lot of self. It required a lot of knowledge from self. It required a lot of healing from self. It required a lot of answers from self. You needed to get right with yourself for this answer and when you got right with self when you started to ask spirit the right questions when you understand that truth requires change oh baby you started to track that correct energy to you you started to manifest and attract abundance to you you started to manifest and attract the right answers to you for a lot of you guys you was praying for God to re reveal what was hidden from you to reveal and expose the enemy to reveal and expose the enemy plan to direct and throw off the enemy's plan and baby the answer is yes it's yours all right this was about an opportunity all right this was about an opportunity for you guys all right it's abundance here it's pleasure, it's love, it's joy, it's fulfillment, it's contentment on its highest form. It's doors swinging open as others shut close. Look, it's, it's, it's raining down. All right, you are in a season of overflow. Your names are being spoken of in rooms you have never even been in. That's filled with very important and positive people. You know, for a lot of you guys, you know, in a recent past, you was trying to come up with an intellectual answer to whatever you was concerned about. And it wasn't successful. You know why? Because in a recent past, the solution you were seeking was only to be found by going within. Asking your true higher self and your spirit. You've gathered a lot of insight from a lot of dreams you had, from a lot of nightmares, all right? That's what, that was your subconscious, all right, creating solutions for you that was not available to your awakened mind. Okay, and with this yes, okay, the answer to your question is yes. The answer you were seeking is yes. You, it's like a bravo. All right. The decision you've made was the right one. There's no need to continue to sort through any additional options. You made the right choice. You knew what to do. And you moved accordingly when it came to pursuing your plans. You've made the correct choice for your personal growth and development. And your opportunities. This decision that you made was a real true challenge. Because again, the answers that you were seeking, you couldn't get it from nobody.
You are prioritizing self-love, self-wisdom, self-learning. This is personal for you. This yes, this reward with this opportunity, it was personal for you. You couldn't seek what out. Nobody could help you with this one. Your angels with, with, you know, your angels is with you every step of the way. Even when you felt alone and they didn't, you know, they didn't hesitate with you. They didn't hesitate to place judgment on your friends. Your angels didn't hesitate to place judgment on your family or your workplace to support you. And when it comes to this opportunity, with this opportunity here, you know, collectors, whatever you, whatever choice you made, positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. All right. It's big, big things happening this week for you. This opportunity that fell in your lap right now, all right, that's in your lap right now, is going to bring you inspiration and insight. This is a chance you've been waiting for, y'all. This is an action. This is the right action you took on the idea. This is a manifestation that's here. That you created through challenges and changes in your life. This is a change in your career. This is a change in your relationship. This is a change in your foundation. In your life. All right. This may be you buying or selling a home. Or bringing a new romance into your life. Bringing new children, family, creating those things. Moving to a new environment. But whatever your desires were... Your angels have opened the door for you for this possibility. So you're stepping right into this this week. Amazing energy. Amazing, amazing, amazing energy. All right, spirit, give me more on this meditation brings answers. Wow, this is about your future. All right, this is about you taking the next steps in your future. This is, you've made it to the finish line. You've learned a lesson in a relationship. You learned a lesson in life. The three of wands is, you know, the two of wands is like you planning. But the three of wands is you have taken the right action. Now you're, you're able to support yourself. You're supported. The next one is the four of wands. And that's that structure. That's solidifying. You moved on to the next chapter of your life. All right. You completed a major cycle. The threes are all about, you know, abundance. It's all about growth, evolving, rewards, expansion. Advancement, progress, all right, Preserve, uh, persevering through your conflict and challenges and adversities, overcoming those things. Wow, your path is clear. The Ace of Swords, that's the yes. That's that yes. The Ace of Swords is the yes that you've been waiting for. All right, that you've been waiting for. This is your path. Your road being cleared. You are clear on this opportunity. You've been clear on this manifestation. This is within. This is your progress. This is your action. This is you speaking to God. This is you clearing your throat chakra. Activating it. Claiming what you want from this world. Doing the things that you're supposed to do. To attract the life that you want. It's not always what you want. It's who you are. And right now your, your, your vision is clear. Your plan. You're pursuing. It's, it's on your purpose. You went through a lot of healing. All right. You removed yourself from the lies. The gossip. The slander. The ace of swords is literally a yes. 
a yes. For some of you guys, these are deals that you're signing. These are new contracts that you're signing. It is a yes, baby. All right. You've been wondering for a while. Three months, three years, three weeks, three days. Something's going to happen within three days. Or four. It's a yes. Spirit, give me more on this opportunity. I'm hearing you ask for it. You better be ready to receive. That's what I heard. This shit is big. Whatever you've been asking for. I don't think you understand that it has fell through. Spirit said you asked for it. You better be ready to receive this. This is a lot of love. This is a lot of rewards. This is a lot of charity. This is a lot of support. This is a lot of favor pouring in. Opportunities are beckoning. All right. There's a lot of forgiveness here too. Spirit, give me more on this opportunity. Oh. All right. You season that motherfucking opportunity. The Knight of Swords is saying you season it. You taking it. Yeah, you taking it fast. All right. You're seizing this opportunity. You're not waiting. You're not fumbling this opportunity. All right, you going, you taking it, well, you're claiming it. Remember what I said? Y'all not playing nice no more. You, you understand that the universe conspires on your behalf. This opportunity that is presenting itself, you not playing no more. You taking it. You're seizing this opportunity. This is your new start. The will of fortune is all about growth and expansion. It's the planet Jupiter, all right? It's all about Archangel Metatron, all right? Mark Angel Metatron is the will of fortune, all right? And he is the recording guy, recording every motherfucking thing. And remember, the planets are going in retrograde and today is a new moon, all right? Retrograde starts tomorrow, the 13th, but it, it's, it's here, the 12th. And today is a new moon and today is a portal, 12-12. Go look on my arms, um, my, my shorts. The Bible speaks about 12, 12 in so many different verses and so many different chapters. All right. Archangel Metatron is exalting you and advancement and your progress. All right. You have listened from the teachings and the gods that was presented to you on your path and everything that you've been doing and how you've been handling things have been recorded. Events that you probably didn't even realize was being recorded has been recorded. All right. And it's a huge yes for you. You won. You claim chest spot. This is a new cycle for you. Look, Archangel Michael. So you got Archangel Michael right here. Okay. You got Archangel Metatron. I got them two right here. Okay. Literally, that's not about, that's not by accident. Okay, Archangel Michael speaks about you are like God. You are second to God. All right, this is the chariot energy. This is the number seven, the year of the seven. All right, you. this is assured pers uh, perseverance. All right, this is assured success over any conflict. This is overcoming any adversity. And when you are in a chariot energy, baby, you're not going back. You God has removed you, all right? God has you have prayed your way up out of something. You are never going back to what you had to pray yourself up out of. Child, this is a big move. This is a power move for you. And you got Archangel Metatron, the will of fortune. All right. Advancement. This is this cycle of advancement. This chapter, nothing but accelerated progress and advancement for you. Because now you know how to learn and teach from your guys. You know how to be observant and record every motherfucking thing. You hear me? You got two big ass archangels out here. All over your situation right now. Because you want to us. 
You are one of us. Ashe. Ashe. You are one of us. Ashe. Ashe. Okay. Archangel Michael don't want to go down. All right. He said, put me right here. Ashe. Ashe. Okay. So, yeah, this is. And, and look at the two only major iconic cards. And I already told y'all, when you see the major iconic cards, that's your spiritual lessons. These are your spiritual rewards, clarity, breakthroughs. All right. Everything lifted. You seizing this opportunity. You're not letting opportunities go by no more. All right. Assured progress. All right. You got some archangels. That are working on your behalf. Even if you can't see baby. I'm here to tell you. Your favorite reader is here to tell you. You got Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. Season. This situation. Who you think is pushing you? Like this. Like go ahead. Go take that. That's yours. Nothing is in your way right now. You want grow. Go. I said grow. Everything is growing around you. Alright. Your foot is on the gas. You know why? Because who's clearing your path? Archangel Michael. It's like, you know how when a group of cars, but there's one car that's escorting like the president or something like that's you. You being escorted like this is a rush season for you. This is a fast season for you. The opportunity is coming so motherfucking fast. You ain't even got time to motherfucking wait. You know why? Because that's what you're supposed to do in November. November, a lot of us was tired. November, a lot of us was being called to rest. And we kept saying, we can't rest. We can't rest. We got to make money. God kept saying rest. Because God already knew how December and your life was set up after November. So that's why God was saying rest. Because look how you in December. Opportunities coming everywhere. You hear me? You're acting. You're being logical, but you're acting on your ideas. You're seizing it. All right, a lot of shit is taking off for you. A lot. A lot. All right. Wow, the Eight of Cups. All right, this was a power move you made. All right, this was a silent move you made. All right, to walk away from a situation and start fresh. Eight of Cups. You hear those sirens? That's Archangel Michael. Anytime you hear sirens, baby, that is symbolic of Archangel Michael coming to assist your motherfucking ass. Baby, you trusted the process. You know, when we all in the Eight of Cups energy, that shit's scary. We like, why the fuck we, we, we feel like we gotta go? But if we go, we don't even know where to start. We don't even know who to turn to. We don't even know where the support going to come in. But that is the glory of having motherfucking faith. Because sometimes we got to release control of the motherfucking outcome. Sometimes we got to realize that we don't know everything. And our God work in miracles, baby. My God work in motherfucking miracles. You hear me? I don't know about y'all's, but my shit work in miracles. Who the fuck give a fuck about a credit score? All right, I might be rich as hell tomorrow. And that's how my life been. So you was put and you was invited to give up your expectations of how everything was going to plan out and just walk the fuck away from something. God wasn't, God wasn't validating you on your motherfucking bank account or nothing like that or what you had. God already knew this shit was coming. You had to know it and you had to know it even if you didn't see how it was coming. All right. You was giving too much of yourself. This is the cups energy. Eight of cups is when you giving too much of yourself to anything, a person, a place, an environment, a workplace, anything. You giving too much of yourself, especially not receiving fulfillment. Hell no. And the moon. Is here. This thank you, spirit. So the moon. So today is 12 12. This is a new moon. This is new opportunity. This is a new beginning. This is a new street for you. That's why everything is a yes. You have nothing blocking you. You knew this shit was coming. 
And you didn't allow fear to hold you back. Some of you guys cried. Some of you guys was not sure. Some of you guys like, God, what the fuck is going on? But then you start to realize, like, just chill. Let God take the wheel. Go on the passenger side, right? Go on the passenger side and just tell God the directions, right? But let God take the wheel. God could breathe past those red lights and shit. God know where the yield signs is, go- is going. Sometimes we don't we don't we don't, don't want to release the control over the wheel. God said, once you did that, oh yeah, baby. You oh, you you in the car with God like damn, I gotta put on my motherfucking seatbelt. <laughs> God going fast. You thought you was going fast when you give up the will to God? See, the thing is, you going fast, but no accidents. When we take the will, we going fast and we having accidents. Right now, you allowing God to take the will and you ain't having no accidents. You just moving fast. You like, where the fuck the seatbelt at? This shit crazy. Giving you the adrenaline rush. All right. But you made a power move. All right. This is all about meditating, bring you answers. You wasn't asking motherfuckers for answers, even when you wanted to. You realize the people that you wanted to ask for answers didn't even have the answers for their motherfucking self. So how they possibly could have the answers for you? They couldn't. And that's not even that's not even trying to put them down. Literally, we be asking people for real life answers that got shit to do with us. And these people don't they 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 don't even have their life together. So you ask yourself, why the fuck was I reliant on this person's opinion about my motherfucking situation? That's what y'all did. You hear me? Y'all thought y'all started to relax. Y'all started to listen to yourself more. Y'all, y'all started to stop moving in fear and realize anything that's gonna happen is gonna happen. All right. And y'all was ready to make that change. Y'all was ready to see this new opportunity. Your opportunity presented itself, and you was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, so expect this powerful ass change. You're being exalted by Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron in this new moon today. This was a power move you made. That's Ace of Wands. Oh, in love. This was a power move you made because you trusted your heart and you went with where you was getting love. You went where your soul was guiding you to. Eight of Cups, energy. This shit was about a power move in your heart and your own motherfucking fulfillment. Wherever you going this week, all right, wherever you moved away from, all right, your cup is being filled. All right, physically and spiritually, physically and emotionally. You hear me? This is new energy. The aces are new. It brings new potential. This is new moon energy. Yes. All right. You got three motherfucking aces out here. Ace of swords. Ace of wands. Ace of cups. Now tell me that's not new energy. That's why I some motherfucking yes. <laughs> All right. Just you had to shut one door first before the other one could open. That's all. All right, and you understood the motherfucking assignment. And when you left, all right, you start to feel this new energy. All right, you're like, I'm taking that. That shit mine right here. I'm solidifying that. That shit make me feel too good. Whatever it is. All right, that shit making me feel at peace. This love that I'm feeling right now, it's making me feel at peace. You know why? Because you no longer pouring from your cup before God finished pouring into yours. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Child, talk about new moon energy, talking about love, talking about acceleration, talking about promises being kept by the divine, this cycle, talk about power moves being made, talk about karma being cleared, talk about clarity, talk about obstacles and stagnation being lifted off your path, talking about seizing the opportunity, you are in the energy of overflow. All right, your feet is on the gas, your foot is on the gas, green light, nonstop. I'm hearing you just hit a switch. Shit don't never stop is what I just heard. Shit don't never stop with you. You hear me? Opportunities always beckoning. You just had to leave certain things behind, baby. You done walked into a whole powerful new love, new situation. All right. These are your dreams coming true. 
All right, you could be a king of swords, baby. All right, Aquarius, Gemini, okay, Libra. All right, but yeah, you got a mask on here. That's it's looking like really, really head over heels. Like can't believe the opportunity that they got that they feeling. They feeling it physically. All right, if this masculine, this your masculine. All right, they're very aroused by you. Okay, they in love and it's it's new for a king of swords because the the king of swords they're not used to like this overflow of love that they get and they more logical. They're not used to this physical touch and feeling that they are receiving because they always logical, they always in their head. So this shit new, this shit what they dreaming about. You know, this is Neptune energy, the hangman. You got a lot of great major iconic cards. This is a spiritual awakening. All right. This is a spiritual awakening here. Definitely heavy on a masculine ear sign. All right. This person grew from a knight of swords. All right. To a king of swords. This could even be some of you females and your masculine energy. All right, but they are fulfilled. You are fulfilled on a physical. Oh, damn. And, oh, they like, they let, yeah. They like, I'm fulfilled mentally because that's their suit. I feel like this person trustworthy. I feel like I can trust this situation. This opportunity, I feel like I can trust. Damn, and it feel physically good. And I'm getting goosebumps and shit. Like, I'm feeling like on a whole nother wave. And. It got me feeling nervous and it got my heart racing sometimes and it got my butterflies in my stomach. What the fuck is this? That's what y'all say in y'all King of Swords. What is this? It's that new opportunity, baby. It's that love on a whole new level and whatever it is. It's that acceleration from your spirit gods and your guardian angels. All right. It's that advancement and progress and all you do. Love, romance, money, career. <laughs> All right. A lot of the things that you did that you took the high road for and you thought that it wasn't being recorded. God said, I don't know why the fuck you thought that because it was being recorded. All right. God don't give a fuck about your mistakes. God cares about your um, corrections. We all going to have mistakes is are you correcting them and not doing the shit again? All right. You are just like God. You are one of us. This is a short acceleration and perseverance through this conflict. Conflict in your motherfucking head that you couldn't deserve this. And look, new moon energy, opportunity. All right, this is this new moon energy. This is new moon energy, ace of cups. The ace of cups symbolizes a blessing from God and love and romance and self-love and fulfillment. This is a blessing from God and your physical feeling and activities. Your physical body feeling very fuck, fucking inspired and horny. <laughs> and this shit got your mind like clear, like you not second guessing this opportunity. You know this shit is what you've been praying for because you never felt like this. This is all new energy. All right, that you went within for. Plenty of nights praying, plenty of nights probably doubting. But this opportunity is here and you seize in that motherfucking moment. Because you know this shit is true. Ace of Swords, um, King of Swords. All right? You had to walk away from a lot of lies, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of betrayal, and a lot of situations, whether it was work, family, friends, romance. You was dealing with a lot of fucked up shit. People trying to win at all course. All right? There's a tower happening. All right? Because you know what's blowing the fuck up? Them. While you take this new beginning. The fool is meaning you're starting fresh, clean, doing things that you never did before. This is all new energy. This is the first card that start out the tarot deck. So 1212 is speaking to you guys. And I think that you should go watch my shorts about I put different things about what 1212 means in the Bible. This is a revelation for you guys. All right, this week is set up with newness, opportunities. Yes, on top of yes, on top of yes. Y'all going to sleep fulfilled like this is y'all time here. 
God doing his big one on you this week. All right. And this is a sure progress. This is Archangel Michael, baby. Chow. All right. Because you've meditated. Because you've asked yourself how you feel about certain situations and allowed your body to talk to you, it brought you answers. Jackpot, baby, you are in a season of overflow, y'all. Like everything is overflowing. Love, compliments, joy, opportunities, level up, all right? Enhancement in your work, raises from your job. Y'all going to be at the right place at the right time. And these are miracles happening. So I wouldn't even advise you to start thinking so hard about when the next opportunity comes. They just coming. You're not going to know where. All right. Let me tell you, our God oversees the, the lawyers. Our God oversees the courtrooms. Our God oversees certain shit that you think is the last say. Open your heart to this week. It is happening big for whoever you are. And y'all need to congratulate yourself because y'all deserve it. Remember, when you in a chariot energy, baby, this is all about persevering through your success from a major conflict that you've been having for a while in your life. This speaks about you never going back to your old ways, your old life. There's something that you did where you left the past behind. Your life would never be the same after this week. Your life will never be the same after this week. When it comes to conflict, that has been lifted. <coughs> when it comes to blockages, that has been lifted. Also, I'm coughing. Your throat chakra has been cleared. You're no longer afraid to speak how you feel, even if it triggers somebody because you know that's not your intentions. Your intentions is to speak how you feel and validate yourself. That's how we heal our inner child. By finally validating ourselves and our protecting how we feel. Instead of always trying to protect somebody else's motherfucking feelings. Y'all never going back to where y'all came from. Y'all are overcoming big adversities in your life. Your life will never be the same after this week. You know I don't lie. You know I gave that shit up a long time ago. Be prepared baby. Be prepared, baby. All right, so let's get some closing messages. All right, let's get some closing messages. All right, Spirit, what's the closing messages for the collectives? I'm proud of y'all. Do you see that light? You see that light radiating? Where the fuck that light coming from? All right, where the fuck that light coming from? And it's not coming from my, my ring light. Baby, that's God in his three and saying, the light that is bestowed on you today and for the rest of your life is going to change you. All right, your ancestors, somebody in here is hitting right on the chariot energy and a full card and a three of wands. Okay. Spirit, what's the closing out messages for the collective? The Herophon. All right. Somebody is learning new belief system, a whole new way of thinking. You guys are reprogramming yourself from the things that was taught to you that was not true, even about your religion. This is about institutions here. This is about you realizing what church is and you making that, that choice. What God are you believing in? You are learning about synchronicities and the cosmos and the moons and the zodiacs. Something shifted you to your purpose. You are a messenger of God. Look at that light. It's still here. There's some type of light that been bestowed onto you. I don't know what. All right. It's some type of light. With this Herophon energy. This is bringing major change. Oh my gosh. Y'all. <laughs> y'all, y'all in Empress energy. Y'all. Y'all fertile as fuck. With everything. You hear me? Ideas, children, your womb. It's just your divine feminine energy. Your creativity right now. 
Y'all, with this fucking empress here, all right, it speaks of fertility, creation, nurturing. This is how somebody, they learning from you. They learning how fertile your, your, your ideas are and your mind is. They're learning how creative you are. They're learning how nurturing you are. They see that you're very grounded in your abundance. All right. To be alive is to create. And wherever the empress goes, abundance flows. You have the ability to bring something from nothing. All right. That is the very essence of your existence as the empress. You have the ability to bring something from nothing. You pour life into the lifeless. You bring things back alive. And no matter what you are bringing into this world, you, you're going to nurture and you're going to give it your full attention. What you love, it, it reciprocates on your energy. You know, the empress, all right? She is carefree. You are happy right now as an empress. Your energy is... Is of like a 25 year old version of a mother. Like for some of you guys, you could be a young mother. Okay, your energy is radiating. All right, and with this hermit card, this is all about the master teacher, the learner, the philosopher. This person is learning about their ethics. You know, history, all right, has a way of repeating itself. And with this hermit energy, you understand and you look at things under a different lens. You look closer at things. You're a critical thinker. This masculine is a critical thinker. And learning from you, this is what you're reflecting from the divine feminine, divine masculine energy. All right? Yeah, you're teaching about new traditions, new ways. To see. Okay. It's a lot of things coming for you. A lot of amazing things. A lot. A lot of amazing things. All right. These are major arcana cards. This is spiritual here. Everything that's going on. It's a part of your spiritual plan. Everything that's going on. Is not happening by accident. Okay? Oh my gosh. You tapped into your ten of pentacles. Your generation wealth. You tapped into your generation wealth. You know what family is. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is about your wealth. It's about your legacy. It's about your establishment. It's about your home. It's about your inheritances. All right. Legacy comes in all forms, y'all. From happiness, freedom, financial freedom, success. You know, there's an inheritance that has been passed down to you. For some of you guys, it's going to be a car. For some of you guys, it's going to be a house. For some of you guys, it's just going to be wisdom. And doors opening that nobody can ever open. These are true gifts. Coming from time spent together. See, for a lot of you guys, you are in position to, to be fertile. You are in position to, because you're no longer working harder. You're working smarter and a lot of the things that you've done before this time has put you into a privileged lifestyle, Divine Feminine. As an empress, you're living very privileged, priv excuse me, privileged. And at, with the Ten of Pentacles, this means that your work and your career is aligned with your family and your values. All right, your work and whatever that you're doing for income you're still able to spend the amount of time and the right amount of time and enough time with your family, with your masculine, if you have one, with your children, all right? Everything is balanced with you right now. And the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles is like, you ain't got to worry about money. Like money really, 
is not the true goal for you. Happiness, abundance, relationships, resources, all right, healthy bonds. That's what, like money flows through you. You are the empress. Everywhere the empress goes, you're going to see some type of abundance in this energy. All right, so there's more to life than money is what I'm trying to say with you. Once you hit the 10 of pentacles, you got so much wealth that you don't care about it no more. You see the real value of life because a lot of things that you probably want or crave for, it doesn't it doesn't require money. Money is just it, it gives you convenience. When you got enough money, you start realizing like money is not really <laughs> it's all right to have, all right, because of the convenience, but we need more. We need to prioritize other things that gives us abundance. And it's family. It's real family. And it's not always the family you was born into. It is a family that you create. You have created your own family. Or you you will be creating your own family. This is new energy. All of this is new. This is what you're birthing to the world right now. Child. You reached a level of success. Like your skills. Your playtime. It's all balanced with spending time with your family and each other's presence, you know, making up stories and having that just, you know, eating at a table, eating at a table and playing games like the richness, the wealth is, is coming from love here, love, love. All right. This is Mercury and Virgo. The Ten of Pentacles is Mercury in Virgo. So, you know, Mercury is the big messenger planet. It brings the messages and Virgo is the Hierophant. So this is a big message right here when it comes to improvement, wisdom, and knowing what family really is. What it takes to really create this family and this picture perfect life that everybody wants. Y'all did it, y'all. This week is set up different. And again, your life will never be the same. So you better be prepared for everything that you ask for because it's coming heavy. God doing his big one on you. All right. I love you guys. And I'm out.